<laughs> welcome back. Welcome back to Sugar Mama Radio. It's Sugar. I'll be more precise. And DJ Nitro. Yep, yep. We here. Diamond K is on the sound spec there. The animations. Shout out to the intern. Y'all never told me her name. Ayana. Young Chris Bach. Brown's biggest fan. Yep. I'm, I'm calling you Young Bach. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, we just sit here chit chatting, and something came up over the airwaves. Um, Nicki Minaj had made a statement um, to was it Marie Claire magazine about the criticism of interracial dating. Um, I don't think at the time when she made the comment that she was looking at it that deep, but it blew out of proportion, of course, thanks to the blogs. The comment she was she made, and I'll read it, and we'll, we'll touch a little bit on the interracial, what y'all think. She said, I'm so tired of black women feeling that when our men get rich, they're going to leave them for a woman of a different race. She went in reference to Kanye's West number one single, Gold Digger. It was funny when Kanye said, when he get on, he'll leave your ass for a white girl. And Kanye happens to be with a white girl now, she shared. And a few publications have did what they do. They spun the comments out of control. So Nicki Minaj, of course, had to go back to Twitter and clarify what she was saying. She said she was just simply pointing out the issue that um, Kanye was the one who said it first. So, and he didn't apologize for the choices that he made. Um, he tells the truth about a lot of stuff that people don't want to hear. So she went back and said, slams. A man slash genius who gave me one of the biggest looks of my career. I said he wasn't kidding. He was speaking the truth about the industry. She says she said uh, he was the one who said it first, of course, and he didn't apologize for it. So with that being said, I don't know how the topic even came up of, <laughs> you know, the gold digger, the single, but the media, you know, they all over it. And it started on Twitter, of course. So what do y'all actually think about, you know, interracial dating? There's a lot of people in the industry, and in particular, a lot of men that date outside of their race. A lot of ball players. Especially, yes, athletes and actors, black yep. male actors and yep. athletes. Because I was watching the show WAGS. I don't know if y'all familiar with it. It's on E, and it's, it stands for Women and Girlfriends of Sports athletes I think something like that and there's about five or six there's about four white girls and two black girls uh, one of them is dating Michael I'm sorry what's the wide receiver for the Ravens Mike Wallace his girlfriend one of the, the Caucasian women is dating Julius Peppers from the Green Bay Packers uh -huh. and a few others scattered uh, Rashad Jones I think he plays for Miami Dolphins mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken um, but the, the whole topic, I don't know why. And it's, it starts in college because remember when, what's his name? My guy. Cleveland Cavaliers. Point guard. Cleveland Kyrie. Cavaliers. Kyrie Irving. Thank you. Oh, that's what she brushing remember and everything. When, <laughs> that's my man. <laughs> but originally I was on him. I was a fan. I think he's handsome. I like the way he plays basketball. He went to, I think, what, Duke? No. No, somewhere else. But like anyway. I, I look back and over his pictures of his college years, and he was photoed with a lot of white women. He dated white women. But his the, mother. In the school? His child is like a year old. School? His, yeah, I think it's because yeah. what the, 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 the dick, environment yeah, they're yeah, in. There's a bunch of white women do. <laughs> they're around white girls at these predominantly white colleges. You know, he didn't go to an HBCU. And a lot of these athletes don't go to HBCUs. They go to predominantly white colleges. On the sports, on the sports Especially. Tech. Cam you know? Newton and, and all that. Right, Cam yeah. Newton. His girlfriend, his baby mother is black, though. His baby mother's black? Yeah, she is. She's black. Mm. But a lot of them are not. <laughs> so getting into the topic, it's like, RG3. why are these RG3, they're now divorcing, I think. They're not together anymore. But why are these athletes and actors, actors in particular gearing more towards white women? I think it's because that's well, all actually, they're surrounded by. <laughs> that's what I think. I think there's not a lot of black women, black women around these men. You know, they're at football games. The half the stadium's white. The groupies are white. They're at. Uh, they're performing. You know, and that's all. It's black like black women, or they can't get through the door. <laughs> Something because it's dominated by the white women. So why is it that you're, you guys, uh, what's his real name? Power. 
James St. Patrick in real life, his his wife is white and she gets. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she's white and she's not pretty. There was a lot of criticism a few weeks ago. You can Google it. James St. Patrick. She's not. That's his real name. No, his real name is. Uh, oh. I forgot his real name, but Damn, that's bold. just Google James St. Patrick. His wife is white. Um, the new series that's called uh, on Netflix, Luke Cage. He's a black action hero. In real life, his wife is white. So he's getting a lot of uh, he's getting slammed for that. James St. Patrick ghosts. He's, he got slammed a while back. They were saying that she's white, but she's not even attractive. She looks like Tommy. That's what wow. That was one of the comments that I saw. Omari Hardwick. Omari Hardwick. Wow. She like Tommy? Tommy Egan? <laughs> yeah, they were saying that his wife looks like Tommy. <laughs> and well, she's Liz not Kong, attractive. They got a bad white girl, though. Lizzie. Kim Kardashian <laughs> is not white. Let's get that clear. She is Armenian. She's not white. Okay, so she ain't black. She's not black either. She's Armenian. She's in a totally different category. <laughs> so why they say... <laughs> yeah, there's no Armenian on the application. You have to check other or white. <laughs> but what the... But I... Yeah, you get a job better you, that way. Why do you guys think it, that's the case? Why well, do you that think... That is his wife. She's not pretty. She looks just oh. like... Her bone, her facial bone features are really strong. I hope he ain't listening. And I think they have a child together as well. I think so, if I'm not mistaken. Well, he like yeah. what he like. So. And Angela ain't better than Tasha, so shit. Angela Valdez? I, I wouldn't have took her over maybe. Tasha. No, I would not have picked her over Tasha St. Like Patrick. I, I, I wouldn't have took over no damn Tasha. But we're just, y'all referring to looks. Like, what is the underlying, what is the bottom line? Like, why are these Financial men? stability. Financial, you, what do you mean? It's the, mostly the men that are rich. It's not the women, white women actors that are dating black men. It's the black men that are dating white women. They help you don't you see too finances. many white women that are rich dating black men. They, you don't see it. Money. They so are you saying these the white money. women are gold diggers? No, they help them balance the money. They help them balance in the yeah. books. I heard they were... They were more submissive. White women are more submissive. Is that true? Have you heard that? I don't know. I'm like white girls. You've heard it, Diamond, right? That white women are more, they don't, they nag less. Yeah, I, I mean, and I've talked about this a lot. I don't like white girls. So black damn. women, um, they're submissive black women, and they're dominant black women, and they're submissive white girls and dominant white girls. Right. Uh, so I think it's about what you you know what you select. You can't say all black women are dominant. No. A lot of them are, they but are. not all. That's what we get. The you got some submissive. You got some submissive ones because the ones that's dominant is really loud. They really really loud. Yes, so. <laughs> but black women are. We get the independent stereotype. Y'all did it. Y'all let the man. Y'all let the man, the man fuck shit up. Y'all let the man do this. The the man did this. Which man, man are you referring to? Black the man? No, the, the man. man. Oh, the man. D A man. The, the man. man. <laughs> the man. The white man. Yeah, he okay. <laughs> the man. Okay. So, used to be before our time, the household was tight knit. Even if the grand, like our grandparents' generation, right. even if the granddad had a kid, had a family across town, they ain't break hey, up. No, right. He took care of both families. No. It was on the hush. Mm -hmm. Kept the family together. Right. Now, a couple can break up if they like got football rivalries and they just break up. Like it, it'd be that you loose. I mean, black couples. Black couples. I'm not maybe not for that, but I mean right. it, it won't be that heavy, and they'll end up breaking up over it. Um, so like black women, I think you know when welfare came and all that that kind of y'all took it too serious. Y'all took it too much. They overdid it. Y'all overdid the we don't need no nigga. We don't need nothing. We can come up on our own. Right. You know what I mean? And that mentality kind of, kind of, you know what I'm saying? That, I'm so glad that then. Nina and Shmik and I. Can <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I say Beyonce? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just, trying to look at oh, it from both sides. That's I my, played. That's my yeah, but I'm saying, but, but seriously though, so it's like the, you know, they don't get certain benefits if it's a man in the house at all. You know what I mean? Like with the, with the, like the rent. You know, like all kind of bills. Yeah, if it's a man in the house, 
You don't get certain things, so you just ingrain this. You don't need a man type of mentality. And yeah. even when the girls go to school, it's because they're raised without fathers. Yes, yes. They did it. it's because most of black women her. are raised no, she, without she fathers. It. She made the movie. She died. She celebrated. She helped. She made the soundtrack for this shit. Her beehive. <laughs> Beyonce and did it. We love the Beehive, by the way. We love yes, the Beehive. Yes, we love the Beehive. Yes, we love the Beehive. She's just one person. It. it was going on way before Beyonce. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely was going on Beyonce before her. Beyonce did it. But, but I, now it's more coming to light. It's like every time I turn around, these black men are with white women. I, you know, here's the other part. Here's every time the, here's, I turn around, it's like... But here's the other part. Here's the part that, here's the part that y'all... <laughs> and it's not... Black women say the submissive part, but I don't think it's so much the submissive part. What I think it? it's more so the catering part. So if a black, it's not just a black man. When men get on, right, mm -hmm. women come around, right? Of course. So the ball players, the women are seeking the ball players out. They go into the hotels. They at the games. Groupies. They at the parties. They're groupies. They're groupies. They, they, they groupies. Now, the white girls maybe go a little bit they harder. Go. Yeah. They go a little bit harder, and then if they are attractive white girls. Yeah, of course. You know, and, and so if the, if this white girl's attractive, yeah. she's Julius on Pepper's him, and she's she's pretty. talking a nice talk, and she's looks Hold good. On. They may I mean, fall victim for it. White, white, or I just mixed think white, I don't think black men see mixed color. white is, I don't. is we don't we I see thought, titties yeah. and ass and black lips men. In my opinion, they face. don't see color. They see a woman. And yeah. they're not Shout necessarily out to married Shout out worried to about her color. Yeah. That's what I Shout out to you. I'm, I'm just I'm saying, so I'm, glad nowadays, that Nina nowadays, nowadays, maybe and back then maybe, are not here. Back like then, women. no, that wasn't the case. But nowadays I think it's just they're seeing pure women. Like you're a woman. You, it's, yeah. I don't care about the color of your skin. Like what's going on up here? Men are more concerned nowadays with where's your head at instead of your body. Instead no, no, of no. Care. We're concerned with where your head is at. Absolutely. Yeah, but they're not necessarily worried about yeah, the body. No, no. We don't want to. We don't care if she's smart. Because these women, they we don't care if she's smart. Women, they, smart. No. I did. On the show Wags, they were saying that when they met these famous football players, they were um, Mike Wallace's wife. She didn't have the breast. She didn't have the butt. But she somehow snagged him in the club, and then he turned around to her and said, "Oh, you need some boobies." She has them now. She said, "Yeah, she has them now." So she's one of the ones that. <laughs> Shout out to Mike Wallace, my dude. <laughs> he yeah, needs some bees on it, Kanye West. Okay, so <laughs> is, is is Kanye a hypocrite? No. Kanye says what he means. No, no, he's a hypocrite because, and I love Kanye. But in, in the Gold Digger song, she says the, the, the words that the way that he's saying it is in a negative way. Like he's talking down yeah. about the person he's yeah. talking about, you know, and then, you know, he, he's, he's speaking negatively about it. But it just so happened he made the song. OK, he felt that way then. And then he's met Kim Kardashian, and maybe he's like, maybe she's kind of light skinned, or because she doesn't, she don't carry it like a, a regular like valley white girl. No, she doesn't, like a, a hippie. No. Yeah. She he who he dated before Kim Kardashian. Amber Rose. She's white, right? No, he's always she mixed. No, she's mixed. She mixed. But he's always dated. He's see, never she, dated a black woman. That you that we know of. Like, I guess why he was famous. Yeah. She had a big butt. No, too. I think the girl before Amber Rose was black. Yeah, she but she was she was a brown skin, like a brown skin yeah. girl. She had a big butt. Yeah. Though. Yeah. She yeah, so Amber Rose. He, he got some good he, his resume is kinda ha oh, kind yeah, of he, oh, he got a mean stable. His resume is kinda yeah. tough. His stable is I think he's a clown, me personally. I think I think he gets they see something else. I don't know him personally. We but like, oh, the things he say in the media, the tablet, shit. no, he's not my type. <laughs> whoa, whoa, no, he's not. He's not my type. He could have been. My stock no. is still rising from last week he's with B-Boy Princess. He's not my type at we all. We are an item. How you know? He's not my, because of the thing. His That's actions, the show. You don't know what the, the regular, regular person is. In the media, is. in the tabloids, the things he say. Young the Jock made moves. price tag on your head and we ain't even know it. He's a clown I too. I knew it. Well, you he's know a cool clown. He's a cool clown. Young Jock got like Young Jock is a clown. He's a cool, you see his hair? Yes. Anyway. He got like 17 kids. <laughs> he has eight, nine kids. What celebrity is your type? Young and Tang. Well, we know, we know yours. <laughs> young we know man. yours is Chris Young and May are type. Young and no, for real. Yeah. For real. My type of celebrity is yeah. the Morris yeah. Chestnut. Okay. So you like the, the tall, what dark. About, tall, dark, and what about, like, what about Say, uh, okay. what about Do you CQ? like Do you like Tyrese? Yes, I think Tyrese is a handsome black man. Okay, so dark, the darker the better for you. Not necessarily because... Did you like Tyson Beckford? 
Of course. You like, like D'Angelo? Oh, that's kind of no. random. His body is nice. <laughs> <laughs> not, not my cup of tea. How does it feel? Okay. <laughs> Got you. Nice show. What's your celebrity type? Celebrity like your type. Who my crush is? Yeah. It could be yeah, a what's crush, your type? type. Yeah. Because she got a type. Like her, I like they all. Um, they all look. This is all the same. <laughs> Mary J. Blige. Free. Okay. They kind of look alike too. They're similar. Free. Who? Mary J. Blige and Free. free okay. okay. I hope you're listening, Free. I still love you, you, boo. You said you don't like white women. Why not? Well, uh, Kim what Kardashian is my type. What do you and Nicki mean? Nicki Minaj is my don't type. Me. Like, don't There's some bad white women out there. Like, don't like who? Cindy who's a, who's a bad? Who? <laughs> who's in the Cindy 80s? Crawford. Maybe in the 80s. Who's that? The supermodel from the '80s. Um, <laughs> oh, I know, I know what it is. Oh, you do. Every, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody in our age group would know who she is. What's her name? Um, 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 the dark-haired white woman from what? Friends? No. Uh, no, 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 no. Eva, Eva Longoria. Okay, no, she's bad. She's, she's white. She's Spanish. Yeah, she she's is. Spanish though. She is a little Spanish. Yeah, right? she's she's bad. Yeah, she's yeah, pretty. she's bad. All right, let me pick a white girl. No, mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian. I I'll take Kim I Kardashian. I think she's overrated. I don't know about that. I think she's overrated. Let me pick a white one. I can't. Um, oh, Kelly actors. Bundy, Christina Applegate. No, sir. No. <laughs> Did he she just say living? Kelly Bundy? <laughs> Kelly Bundy, Christina oh, Applegate. Yeah, yeah back in the day she was hot though. She probably still is. Who? Oh. Madonna. Ooh. She was. What about Gwen Stefani? That was like an '86. Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani. Holla back, girl. Uh, nah, yes. I wasn't. Uh, pink. You like pink? Pink is pretty. Nah, she, she doesn't do it for me. She's working at Valentino's. What's she used to back? She doesn't do it for me. There's a chick like just like pink. None of them do it for me. Me. Lindsay Lohan. Who? No. Nah. Miley she Cyrus. <laughs> Definitely not. It's <laughs> not a white girl. That- they, I don't like my see that, those are the type of white girls that I think of and I'm like ooh no I want her <laughs> like I can't I definitely not girl. Molly Cyrus no there's uh, no Paris white. Hilton nope her sex tape was Paris whack Hilton. nope the Hilton nope. conglomerate women nope. if I had a tape if I had a tape her though, sister's pretty now I would say the Olsen twins if, if, if Olsen oh yeah, I'm hell kidnap, no they are fiends Mary Kate and Ashley I'm a kidnap they are fiends what are they they look bad they are fiends I don't care before they became a team uh, junkies drug addicts yeah one of them had a rest of them one of them had a rest of them she's really skinny and they don't, and and not we. We talk. I'm talking about like crystal meth type so, stuff. I would allegedly. Kid, you know how much money I can get for kidnapping them. You know how much they what worth. About, uh, they, their hand, you couldn't even put the handcuffs on. Their hands would slide right out. That's true. What about Jessica Simpson? Jessica. Britney Spears. <sighs> Jennifer Lopez. She's Spanish. She's Spanish. She's Spanish. We talking about white people. What yeah. about Giselle? Tom Ooh. Brady's wife. Oh hell no! Ew. She is gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Yep. She is gorgeous. Ain't no white She's girl. a model. She nope. is gorgeous. Sorry, sorry. I don't like those white models. Sorry, they white too women. skinny. Sorry. Wait, how much You're not supposed to be looking at the body. Too much. Uh, I'm about to Think about it. They've been having, they had money since they was babies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they got big ass, ass heads. <laughs> yes. They got some big, big ass heads. How much they, they, they worth, Donnie? See how much they, their net worth is. I would kidnap both of them. Yes, I would. I would. There's, they have big eyes. I didn't say I liked them. I said I would kidnap them for oh, ransom money. This is not your preference. White women is nah, not your I'm preference. Nah, I'm kidding enough for them. What about the money? What if a rich white woman came up to you? Hey, Nitro, I love you. I want to get to know you. You're not going to for the twins money. twins are worth $300 million. Damn. See? Sold. See? To DJ Nitro. They would be in my basement. <laughs> not me. <million. laughs> he like twins. White twins. No. Nope. I don't like them. No. No? I like. Why not? You're not attracted to them? Is that it? I'm not. Was so that, for you, Nitro, again? it's the color of their skin. No, I no. I, they just there's nothing. That, it's the they, fact that they don't off. have butts or chests. It's some fat white women on the show Wags in Miami. These white women that, that, have some nice. It's butts. not real. It's fake. So what? These black women butts are fake. Yeah, What's the I know difference? That. There's no difference. Black people are no fatty butts. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I like those natural butts. Yeah. Natural. Like booty. Free. And Mary J. Blige. <sighs> Oh, Mary Lord. J. Blige reminds me of like a home girl. I couldn't, yes. I couldn't, I couldn't do it not with Mary J. Blige. Great Even back in the day. Oh, now Faith, aunt. I could with Faith though. Faith, Faith was a little chubby, but I we could do, we could double date with Faith and her Mary J. That would be I slick. I could do Faith. I could do Faith. She's a little you chubby. Can't do my girl. You better do your girl. Oh, free! I hope you're listening. So, <laughs> Diamond, who is free, your you're celebrity listening. white crush? Diamond, who is your? Don't say Kim Kardashian. I, I, Please, why can't I say Kim? She is. Armenian. 
That's a, a, a country in Europe. You she's have to white. Pick somebody else. No, I thought she was mixed. No, you she's have to mixed. Pick white somebody white. else. Chloe. I'll do her too. Okay, what how about, about Chloe? Courtney? Chloe. I'll do her too. I Kylie, like I like Kylie all three Jenner? of them. No. Kendall Jenner. Okay. Who? Kylie. They're sisters. They're sisters. Kylie and Kendall. Okay, I like Kylie better. Kylie Jenner is pretty. If, Kylie is pretty. If I had oh, a right. son, I would want my son to hit Kylie. I ask you, who's your celebrity white crush? I don't have one. I liked I liked Kim. White Spanish. Oh, you didn't say Spanish. Oh, not Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, that's, uh, they can be Spanish, white, if Armenian, I had to do Spanish, Russian. Spanish. I would count as black. The Dominican chicks. They uh, but they they, they uh, aggressive. They too. Uh, they possessive. Yeah, they are. And they do good hair. So I probably get a Dominican. They do good hair. Dominicans. I would get a Dominican. Hair? I would get a Dominican. Head? Okay. Yeah, I would get Dominican. I've dated six white women in my life. Uh, I've really? dated, I've dated mm-hmm. none. Okay, so you know, we know you've never. You didn't dated. date any? No, I no, did. Yeah, I've I dated. never dated a white man. I took, I took one in Mondama, and we walked what? around. <gasps> what? Yep. In the hood? Yeah. Really? Yeah, but see, she was a black white girl. Yeah, I know you're talking okay, about. Okay, one of those. Okay. I, I took her in Mondama too. White girl that acts black. She was a black she's white girl. Yeah. We walked around in Mondama too. Yeah. She felt comfortable and everything. I, she wasn't my date, but you know. I took it on my dom, and I know you talking about. I, I, I took it on my dom. Yeah, I dated. I thought you didn't. I dated it's a white white, white girl though. too. I dated a white white girl. I, I took it on my dom before too. Did like a a white white, white girl. I dated a white white girl that had like like a goth white girl that wow. had like the big, black big pants at the bottom. Like Bell you couldn't bottoms. see her shoes. Oh, and she had oh, like she was a hippie. And she had like go, chain. Go, she had like go, go she had like the chain. She had like a chain thing okay. that right here. I went to high school with her. Her fingernails was black. Yeah, and her hair scary. was she didn't, don't, 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 no. But I tell you, school. I tell you what, she was off the hook. She probably was. Woo. Yeah, I went to. I'm scared. I'm kind of people. High school wow. with a lot of those. <laughs> when I see them, but I had to break. I had to break. I had to break up with her though. I'm gonna walk across the street. She wasn't crazy, but. She got too comfortable. She got too comfortable. So it's not the skin t- color for you. It's you. No. You don't. It's more so the woman. Yeah. It's not the color of the skin. No, it's it's, it's not. No, it's not the color of the skin. Matter. But I, yeah, I, I think you should marry who you love. You date who you love. If you if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. I flirt with white men, but I wouldn't date one. I'll flirt with them. I'll party with them. No, I'll party work with, with them. them no, you know. I work. No, 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 no. See, let me let me teach you something here. Let me teach you something here. You go to a bar. It's you, six white people down there. What you do is, you buy one of them a beer. They say I didn't order this beer. The guy down there ordered the beer. You just right. Next thing you know, ten minutes later, he's gonna come. Hey, bud, what you drinking? (laughs) Yep. What y'all drinking? It, yeah. it works. I do, I do it all the time. White people are not stingy. I do it all the time. Me. Huh? Okay. White people are not You buy them a drink. Buy a white so person a drink. That you don't know. That you, that you don't, don't know. know. Just a ra- pick a random white guy. Send him a beer. Send him a beer. He's going to come down. Buddy, what you drinking? Whatever yeah. you drinking. Hey, bartender, get get him a drink. And he's yeah. going to drink with my guy. He's going to return the love. That's, That's what, what white people do. That's what you're going to do. All night long, you're going to drink off that white drunk. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all the yeah, time. Yeah, happened to me in Horseshoe one in the casino. I go down Looney's Pub and do it all the time. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. Only white man I would date is Tom Cruise. That's Tom about Cruise. it. He black. <laughs> Tom Cruise black. He's definitely not black. Tom Cruise is black. <laughs> he got in trouble just like black people. He's definitely not black. Shout well, out to show drinking her sparkling water, y'all. <laughs> 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 We call that version of uh, vodka. Yes. <laughs> this is uh, version vodka. Drug free alcohol. <laughs> if that makes sense. Drug free alcohol. She's drinking version vodka over here. Shouts out to version vodka. It's a, it's a, new, <laughs> a shot of water. <laughs> new, new brand of alcohol we're about to bring out called version vodka. <laughs> so I need Nina. Nina, where are you? I need Nina, the bartender. Version vodka. Yeah. Nitro didn't bring any drinks. Because that's what Nina's job is. Don't tell my secret, Nitro. Oh, did you drink a virgin vodka? It got, no, this it is got, it got drug bubbles free. in it. This is drug, it. yes, it's it sparkling. Got, this is drug free alcohol, if that makes sense. Alcohol don't have bubbles. Drug free. I've been drinking Sprite. This is wine. Sprite, it's mixed with Sprite. Don't listen to Nitro. He's hating. She's drinking it. Don't listen to Nitro. He's hating. <laughs> 
Stomach gon' flat flat. <laughs> She's drinking agua. I hate y'all. I need a new co-host. <laughs> y'all, he fired. That's what they always do. Send He's me back fired. in my hole. I'll be back in my hole next week, y'all. Don't worry about it. Back to <laughs> interracial dating. I do too. Yeah. I get to interact with the people, but um, really? I couldn't. I can't. Um, I have nothing against white women, just to clear that up. But I just can't date one. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I'll you never. never say never. Never. Never say never. Never. No. I'm not afraid to show my age, but it's been a while. It's I've been on this earth for a long time. Yeah. It's more of an White attraction girl. thing for me. I really don't. I'm not attracted to him. I'm not. I don't look at him like, oh, my God. I don't, he's hot. Oh, oh Diamond just hot. came for me. Diamond just came. I just don't what? go to Melba's Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's all he knows. He I told you I was at Looney's Pub. He don't know hey, stuff. No like? Right. No. It's some pretty beautiful white women out here. Uh, yeah, so they ain't pretty. Shout out to the Beckys. I love y'all. I love the Beckys. I, I will say this. I will say for about from 1995 till okay. about 19... Mm, nope. I'm gonna year. say from from 1995 till about 2000, uh -huh. the best hit I ever got was from a white girl. What the five year era? Oh. Yeah, from like five That's years. Another stigmatism. Another from stereotype. Five years, for yeah. four, four, she That's had a good so five good. year run, and it happened in Westview Mall too. Oh my. That's nice. TMI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that, yeah. that, that yeah. stereotype. Type is out there too that and, uh, white oh, that's women, not a stereotype that's real yeah, that's well, real that white women are more submissive when it comes to uh, what, what oral sex it's only oral sex so <laughs> it's not sex it's oral sex black yeah. men love oral sex yeah that's a i think all men, men love that no black all love men love that, no. love that like they love chicken black men love it more than other races you think black so men love fellatio more than other races so white women are these women that give these black men what they want they want yes. the fellatio you got black women out here that still does not give oral sex i know i did one some, too Crickets. some black women that turn right. their nose up at oral sex Crickets. right you know i'm just saying they do exist they it's do amazing. exist they come around like the locusts every now and then <laughs> they do exist the nice <laughs> the nice wholesome Yeah, it is changed because of competition. Yeah, it's because oh, the white foremost, women are oh, taking over. The white oh, women are giving wow. them competition. Hold up. It's Chris Brown's biggest fan. Exactly. <laughs> they would have speak about this one. You have a 21. <laughs> That's, That's what I'm getting at. Oh, 21. my God. <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's childish if they don't do it. Shut. What? This all hit me. You better this be all hit me. I'm like, hold up. You better be in college. Is this the intern? Is this the end time? Oh, yeah. Blip, 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 blip. That's her, that's her co, co, co students. Blip. No, bro, that's what school is this? Blip, don't say. Who? Blip. We're not, we're going to bloop that out. We're going to censor that, please. I don't need any. We don't need that. I just had but to realize what was going on. It was, like it all hit me at once. Like, <laughs> but the black women are turning around and trying to hurry up, you know, and step it up because of the competition. You have to keep up with the competition, and these white women are like taking over. And then you get mad. Yeah, of course, competition. It is competition, Nitro. Anytime I got to compete with the Kim Kardashians and the Chloe, the Chloes, because she gets around. We're not Kim, in that market. Kim is more wholesome. <laughs> we're, not in that, we're not in that market. We ain't competing. Yeah. yeah, she dates. That's all she's dated was black. Well, she had well, one white boy. I would, the I, basketball player. The white basketball player. Um, no, that was Kim. My bad. No, Kim, Chloe. Chloe. Whatever. These Armenians are so overrated. <laughs> I, I'm so sick of them. No. It's like every time you turn around, it's uh, Kardashian. The Kardashians. I'm sick of them. Kim thick though. I, I got to get to it. She paid for it. Did you see her in the O.J. Simpson story? She was not thick. Okay. She paid for it. Like I everybody I else. I didn't see that either. I don't care about 
Chloe. I like Courtney. Chloe. She's wholesome. Which one She's is Chloe? a woman. Chloe's like the one they always Lamar like Odom's ex wife. It's oh, Lamar yeah. Odom's. I'm already started mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. now she's dating Tristan Thompson. She likes NBA Boy, players. And she's huh? sat, And she yeah. sat on French Montana's lap. Yeah, with his clothes Yeah, she likes. Celebrity ball players. Oh, they need to pants off, dance off, dance. French Montana's black too. He's just light skin. Yeah, from. So like that's why that's why Atlanta white white girls, you know. But black women like it's like they're taking our they're taking our black men from us. So y'all better get y'all better. Oh, y'all, y'all better get it right. Keep it tight. Sorry to hear that. voice. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. I don't think they're taking the real black men. I think they're taking the no, ones who. The ones. No. You sure. They're not. I don't. They're oh. they're not taking the real ones, hey, which is I what I said. I ain't. I ain't messing with no white girl. They're not real. <laughs> they took. They took Cuba Gooden Jr. They took. Um, he was borderline <laughs> anyway. <laughs> isn't um Empire? Isn't Lucia's yeah. wife his real? His oh wife yeah, 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 yeah. What's that Lucia. other guy, y'all? What's that I'm other guy, y'all? Like from Britain? I'm watching about the from British me. guy. The British black guy. Oh, uh, Idris Elba. He likes white girls he too. Likes white he's, women he's, from, well. he's British. That's all he. he is. <laughs> that's what they see over there. Yeah, yeah. He played in Takers. He played in um, String a Bell from The Wire. From The Wire. Um, I've never watched The Wire. He played in uh, with, um, Takers with T.I. Who was the Beyonce movie where, where uh, she was, they was fighting in the attic? Was yes. Like, oh, Obsessed. Yeah. He was in. And he played in a movie with Taraji P. Henson oh, where yeah. he kidnapped her and Taraji. Yes. Even he worse. That's not, that's not how he talked. Yeah, he has a fake American <laughs> accent. Yeah, he doesn't talk like he that. He has a heavy British accent. Oh, London, mate. <laughs> yeah. And he he's raps. A DJ. And he raps. And no, he he's DJ. a musician. I yeah. DJed with him down Club One before. Yeah, he's a musician as well. But he likes white. He's a more. I wouldn't say they like white women. I say they're more attractive. But that's all they're around. His resume is kind of crazy. He did hit K Michelle. Yeah, oh, amen. Oh, I forgot about my, I heard. my crush with K Michelle. Yeah, yeah. K. I couldn't even go to the meet and greet because they were scared of what I was going to do to K Michelle if I got close. <laughs> K Michelle is now dating a dentist. She is off the market. And she and she hood. A dentist. She thick and she hood. He's black, thank God. Yeah. She did that. I was black boy. Oh, uh, uh, she yeah, to date the basketball, me. the wannabe basketball player. Yeah. She need to come date me. I date you, uh, K Michelle. If the dentist don't work out. Yeah, she done. She's gotten it together. I'm proud of her. She definitely has gotten her head on her shoulder and gotten away from the nonsense. So go to IHOP. kudos to K Michelle. No, no, I ain't gonna take it to McDonald's. So we go to IHOP. I can't with y'all. Yo, I need a real drink. <laughs> Sparkling water here. Virgin vodka coming soon. 2017. Virgin vodka. Y'all heard it first. That's, yeah, that's my new drink. Sugar Mama Radio exclusive. <laughs> All right, so I, I have some I have some bad news for um for me. No, oh. no, not for me. For you, Ben Roethlisberger is out for the season. No, no, no we no. already know no, that Ben Roethlisberger is hurt. Okay, real quick, Nicki Minaj. We talked about Nicki. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Admits to having a thing for Young Ma. For real? That's a headline. Yeah. I, I don't blame. Can you blame her? <laughs> did you? Did you, yeah. Did y'all see what she spit in the guy's face? Y'all talk. Huh? Did y'all see she spit in the guy's face because the guy said she had a fat ass? Yes. At a concert, yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah. She spit she, in a yeah, gentleman's face because she did. She did, though. Y'all, y'all talking about all she these. She had uh, th- here's the bigger issue. She's and, thick. She's not fat. I, I, need, I think I need she to tape this. <laughs> she had. She tried to wear a pants. I don't blame Nicki Minaj. Did you see that they said that? Oh, she got one. I seen it. Yeah, I seen it. They said she uh, she is Jim Jones's daughter. Did you see the profile? <laughs> really, it's a headline out there. It was on Boston. Oh, that's I think. Okay. They, they put her next to Jim Jones, and they said it, that it she might has be. His there, daughter. there might be. But, but here, but but and, and also, father is Puerto Rican. Y'all talking so. about all of these black men dating white women, right? Yes. What about all of these? Beautiful black women. Dating uh-huh. black women? That's dating <laughs> black women. What about that? That's the problem out here. That's that's what we need to talk about. My Lord. No, that's that's just, that's not we, we don't like that. It's too There's many no, they're taking out black it's too men. Many, 
It's too many fine black women out here that's that's unavailable. Yes, because there are no men left, so we have to go to the women. There's there. There are plenty out. of men left, ladies. You don't you don't there's have to like go like do people. that. You don't have to. You do. Yeah. When there's no men left, you go to the women. No. Duh. <laughs> All right. Duh. Okay, well, do what you want to do. Fine. <laughs> you go to the women. Like, I, yeah. If I ever got tired of men. You oh, be quiet! What is going on here? You be quiet. Why do you have all this info? Does, does anybody? <laughs> I'm gonna I put you outside. I know the people looking at my face like, why is he looking like that? Because they don't understand what's going yes, on. Yeah, I'm here. gonna put her outside. This is not syndicated, young lady. Jesus Christ! Oh, this shout out to um, Bimo Princess that's gonna be partying with my homegirls for the Hobbit homecoming. <laughs> My yeah. homegirls got something to do with that party. Uh, Sunday at Bliss. Yeah, we was we. She was the first one to bring young and man. Yeah, it's Howard's homecoming this yeah. weekend. I go every year. I've never missed a year. I've been going since um, H two O. It was at H two O. If you in yeah. Zanzibar, if you don't remember, long time ago, long the time ago, club? before you were born. No, ma'am. No, this is in D.C. And it's not open anymore. Love nightclub. Back when Howard didn't have a choice but to have homecomings at those venues. So this weekend they're taking over Bliss because that's one of DC's main attractions. So I'll be there Sunday. Shout out to my man Tex Sosa and TMS. TMS, the whole hey Marty. Bliss nightclub. We'll see y'all Sunday. It's also what Morgan's homecoming this weekend. I don't know. They put me out. I don't know about Morgan. <laughs> Yeah, there was a big issue with the P drama. I work with him tonight at Melba's. He can't tailgate at Morgan this year because they don't. They send him a letter. They don't want the year two thousand and later. They don't want them tailgating at Morgan. Wow. For homecoming. Two thousand and later. Two thousand and later. So anybody after that graduated after. I'm sorry, before two thousand, because he graduated before two thousand. Oh, okay. And he still be up there. He's still DJ. He's a DJ, so he still does the tailgating parties. Yeah, so I guess they want to they, they want to say that they want to get some of the younger guys to get, get a chance to. So. I guess so, but I think he's like disputing it with the president of Morgan State, and there's a big whole fiasco. Man, I got your back with that, man. Every, every year, for he graduated from Morgan, I think. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. You know what? Yes. <laughs> Telling his age. He's I'm gonna say like this. That. <laughs> People probably about to get mad what I'm about to say, but they're making it better and better for these whack DJs to get publicity. What do you mean? Elaborate. P drama. Don't do the party. Let some of these little young whack dudes, you know, get on. You got on. I understand they got to get on. Had your chance. But these push button DJs is what I'm going to call them. Mm. <sighs> Push, I'm sick. They just push and button. I'm sick of it. DJ push and play. Yep. I'm, that's about, about to change. I'm about to change my name to that and see if I can, you know, get on a whole nother <laughs> way. DJ push and play. Like it's, oh man, there's yeah, some the good DJ ones out game here. Is there's some good ones out. Here. I'm not gonna talk about all the young DJs. There's some good ones out here, but like majority of them. It's definitely over oversaturated now. It's DJ they, they brought a controller everywhere. They got a laptop, and they're a DJ. It's saturated. It's oversaturated is what it is. It's like women selling hair. And, and, Everybody sells and, hair. And T-shirts and juices and them little alcoholic drinks. And now it's selling dinners. So it's like everything in Baltimore, you get hot, somebody comes right behind you and wants to do exactly what you do. It's like crabs in a barrel. Everybody wants to sell dinners now. I can't take it. And just to touch on that real quick, um, my shout out to the man, Biddy. You know, he put up the video that said, <laughs> the video that said. Um, we need to get Biddy on the show. He put up a. Yeah, we yes. need to get Biddy on the show. Yeah, we need him. We're going to get him on here. Shout us out. If Biddy come on the show. Oh, you, don't get, you ain't got a Biddy TV? Oh, I got a bunch of them. Shout out to Biddy He put up a video like last week that said he's tired of everybody selling dinners and overcharging. Yeah, they, yeah. So they're selling they're not, like $28 <laughs> dinners, salmon and two sides for like $28 out of a trunk and some styrofoam. And he just did this whole... That's how much they be charging? Yeah, they're oh, getting like crazy. really expensive, especially for seafood. It's like they're charging market price out of a trunk, though. You know, you can't try to get over this. That's my problem with black people. It's like you want us to support you, and then you, you try to get over. 
It's like the Chinese people and the foreigners are really not trying to get over. They buy these whatever, dresses, hair, and they're selling it for a, maybe $10, $20 more. They're not really charging $30, $50 more than what it costs to make the item. But black people, they'll go buy a few bottles of Ciroc and make some mixed drinks and charge you more than what the liquor store is charging you. Like that, I think it's ridiculous. So I've made a vow to like, Really, like black people, businesses really don't have my attention right now because it's like everybody's trying to get over. So it's like, oh, I support my days of supporting are over. <laughs> I've done like I've supported like everything, everybody, rappers. I'm not buying no more CDs. <laughs> None of that. I'm over it. I might listen, but I'll, uh, I'm over it. It's because black people, we need to get together. I think black people need a lesson in customer service. 101. Amen. Like, you got to get it on board. Like, we want to support you guys, but you make it hard. You small businesses, y'all make it really hard for black people to support you. So, on that note, get it together and take notes from the Chinese people. Hurry up and buy. <laughs> Hurry up and buy. <laughs> well, what y'all got going on this week, Nitro? Anything interesting before we get out of here? In the county? You lying. In my county. In the county. Oh, girl. Baltimore county. My daughter go to Baltimore County. Oh, you fancy. Oh, so you go to Anne Arundel County and all about all this stuff? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put you outside. <laughs> we don't talk to under minors. Good. Gosh, <laughs> Vegas. But anyway, um, tonight is Melba's place. I'm going over there to celebrate my girlfriend's birthday. Happy oh. birthday, Tamika. Tamika Ho. Rayfield? Tamika Rooks. No. Oh. It's her birthday. I'll be over oh. there with uh, Second Nature. Yeah, on Facebook, Tamika Rooks. Five Star Productions. I'm going over there to hang with them. They also have started Wednesday at Melba's. Are you on that? I work on Wednesdays, but I'm going to go this way since I'm off. All right, well, this weekend we're going to turn up with... Um, uh, everybody who does Monday. Everybody who does Monday then went to Wednesday. But they got different okay. hosts. They've added, like, Christina Devine. They've added different hosts. Really? She's always good to see. <laughs> she hosts last... <laughs> yes. Really? She hosts last Wednesdays. Raggy? I host first Wednesdays. So it's like everybody... Like, how are you? Raggy? <laughs> Raggy? <laughs> Shout out to Katie. Yes. Who's Katie? Jama the Jamaican girl and her Coronas. She's always fun to party with. Anyway, we're going to turn up with Morgan State this weekend. If you're in Baltimore or if you're heading down 295 to party with Howard for their homecoming, be safe. Who does Morgan play? Who cares? I went to the University of Maryland <laughs> Eastern Shore. And we didn't have a football team. So I really didn't care for I went to BYU. <laughs> Back then in 2000, there was no dance team. Shouts out to all my comrades. <laughs> there was no dance team in 2000. All the times, all you the times I went down yeah, UMBS Eastern Shore, Shore it was, boy, University of Maryland, much most, easy sex. Yeah, the <laughs> only thing they did down there was, <laughs> ugh, we used to go down and do parties down there. I'd be like, yes! yes. We're going, yes! <laughs> I love going down there. Yes. We got a hotel off Back campus day, a little yes. bit. And yes. So I went. Off the Get hook. all over. BYU. My, my first year there, they I was a freshman. They put us off campus. They fucked up when they did that. Well, I tell but you. But the second semester, they put us right back on campus. No. I, when <laughs> I, I first started out, I did a show down there uh, with Tony and um, Backyard Band. Uh-huh, yeah. Off the hook. So we had <laughs> yeah. we did the little shows, whatever. Had the hotel off campus. Off campus. Yeah. Tony had, like, guys in and out of his room. Like, regular. They look like thug types. Uh -huh. oh, that was Tony's type. Yes. They look like thug types, but they was on some other shit. That was Tony's right, right, type. Right. right. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. They was on some other shit. Right yes, you would. <laughs> you would expose them. I miss Tony. You ain't right. I had, fun at, I had so much fun at mm -hmm. that school, I had to leave. It was back then. <laughs> I'm speaking on. I'm speaking on back then. I can't speak for right now. Oh, but back man, then, it was so. It was nothing to do. So it was so boring. We had to create fun, yeah. and we created so much fun that we turned that school upside down. So I left, transferred, oh, I got out of there. This weekend, I'll be doing what I do every weekend. Watching Netflix. No, I watch Netflix. <laughs> Netflix and chill. Oh no, no, no. See, I'm an Amazon Prime but you know I'm a little bougie. Me too. Um, I'll be, you know. <laughs> displaying all the different bottles of alcohol 
that I drink on social media. Letting get, right, you know, some. getting your apple, you know, alcohol some. game up. Bring me some alcohol. I need some. It's in the car. So you got, we got to drink this premium version vodka. Drug free vodka. For tonight. <laughs> we gonna get the hell out of here <laughs> and go get some real drinks. How about that? <laughs> Radio on fire. Sugar mama. Radio each and every Monday night. We're right here next week. My co hosts Nina and Shamika they will return. Nitro will be here with us, and Diamond K and the intern is fired. <laughs> she got <some> <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be back on the other side, people. So I yeah. enjoy being over here this week. But thank y'all for tuning in this week and check us out every Monday. We are right here. Log on or call us, whatever your profession you prefer.